Yo, what's up, guys? I just got done watching the Bulls and Hornets game. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about that game, just the current state of the Chicago Bulls, and some trade rumors about how the Bulls could be interested in trading Zach Levine to the Lakers for Russell Westbrook and two draft picks. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like below today's video. It takes a second and helps me out a lot. And leave some comments and questions below today's video about the current state of the Chicago Bulls. But nonetheless, let's just jump right into it because I'm going to be real. I'm really upset. I'm really embarrassed. And honestly, I don't really know what to say, but I'm going to try to explain how I feel and just the current state of the Chicago Bulls. Now, before I jump into today's video and these past two Bulls games, leave some comments and questions below today's video because I want to hear what you guys think of this crazy season and just these past two very embarrassing games from the Chicago Bulls. Now, obviously, just the other day, the Bulls blew a 20 plus point lead to the Indiana Pacers without their best player Tyrese Halliburton playing and just last night the Bulls lost to the Charlotte Hornets the third worst team in the NBA and I was talking to my buddy before the game even started and I said you know just watch this game wait for the Bulls to lose to one of the worst teams in the NBA that's just how typical and just I'd say how bipolar this Bulls team and Bulls season has been going but nonetheless the Bulls did blow a 10 point lead late in the third quarter and they did did lose yesterday to the Hornets. The Bulls shot 4 of 25 from three-point range. The Chicago Bulls are now 22 and 26, and I don't really know what to say. The losses just keep piling on. I really thought after the trip to Paris that this Bulls team was going to finally, I'd say, turn the page and start playing some real basketball, especially with the schedule getting a lot easier in the second half of this NBA season, but I was wrong. I really don't know what to say. I don't even know what the problem is with this Bulls team anymore. Now, get this. Casey Johnson did tweet this out. The Bulls have now lost to the team with the fewest road victories, the Rockets, this season, and also the fewest home victories, the Hornets, at the time of their meeting during this NBA season. The Bulls are now back to the 10th seed, and they're tied with the Wizards, who own the tiebreaker. And I really don't know what to say. I mean, I'm just very upset and disappointed. I think we all know. I mean, I've seen it all over Twitter. And I hate to be like this, but let's be real. Bulls fans are very dramatic at times, especially after, I'd say, one bad loss during the season here and there but I understand and I really agree with you guys the Bulls need to blow this up I just can't keep waiting for Lonzo to get healthy you just can't keep waiting for this team to figure it out I don't even know what the problem is I just hate it that it feels like this Bulls team they feel like and act like they've already won something like they made the playoffs once and pretty much got swept last year this Bulls team has not done anything these Bulls players are acting like they just won a championship last year and they can take nights off especially with their record and if the NBA season did end right now, the Bulls wouldn't even be in the playoffs. I know our tourists cannot be happy. I know the Bulls players are not happy, but I know post game, you know, I am recording this post game. I know the Bulls are going to say the same thing. I saw King of the Fourth Quarter and Bulls fans all over Twitter wanting the Bulls to blow this up and make some moves at the trade deadline. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about the past two Bulls games and just the current state of the Chicago Bulls. All right, guys, before I continue into today's video, I just want to say, have you guys realize how the prices of everything is going up here's something you can do right now to save money switch to mint mobile who i'm partnering with for today's video you might already know mint mobile if you've seen those funny ads from ryan reynolds who is also an owner but let me quickly tell you how awesome their service is mint mobile offers premium wireless for as low as 15 dollars a month and you don't have to sacrifice any coverage speed or data they are built on the nation's largest 5g network they keep costs low because they sell direct to you online they cut out the retail stores and salespeople. why should you pay more than you have to for access to the same network you know ever since i've switched to mint mobile i've loved it the speed and quality has been great and switching to mint mobile has also saved me and my bank account a lot of money and also switching to mint is super easy thanks to their digital e-sim cards you can sign up and activate immediately right on your phone from the comfort of your own home Home, which is awesome no more standing around waiting in a line at a big wireless store you can keep your current device and phone number and easily switch services and if your phone isn't e-sim compatible mint will ship you a new sim card free of charge which is awesome to hear and all mint mobile plans do include unlimited nationwide talk and text plus lightning fast 5g and free mobile hotspots mint will show you how much data you use each month and recommend plans that will 
save you money, which is even better. Who doesn't love saving money? Mint also offers a modern family plan that lets you set up a super affordable family plan with as little as two lines. Use my link in the description to get premium wireless starting at only $15 a month at mintmobile.com slash inside the Chicago Bulls. It will be the first link below today's video. Stop paying more than you need to on your wireless bill and start saving big with Mint Mobile. And the next topic in today's video is about some trade rumors that just came out. And just to kind of follow on yesterday's very embarrassing loss, Bleacher Nation Bulls did put out this tweet and they did say this team is a true embarrassment and I agree. If the front office does nothing at the trade deadline, they simply do not care. The current version of this team is done. You tried to run it back with the same core and team and it just didn't happen. Something has to change. I don't care what it is, but this just ain't it. Move on. And I agree 100% with that tweet coming out. Even more articles and tweets have came out. And just the other day on an NBA podcast, two ESPN and insiders we're talking about a potential Zach Levine trade to the Lakers now I've talked about this in past videos and I feel like I'm going to continue to talk about this because I feel like every few weeks Zach Levine is being linked to the Lakers I mean there was a rumor that just came out about a month ago about how Zach Levine was trying to force a trade to the Lakers and now according to Zach Lowe and Bobby Marks two ESPN insiders they both agreed on a recent podcast that the Chicago Bulls would accept an offer of Russell Westbrook the Lakers 2027 and 2029 first round draft picks for Zach Levine. Now, this whole rumor and trade talk has been going on since the season has gotten started, but I felt like it wasn't really necessary to make a video on it. Now, I'm going to be real. I don't see this trade being realistic, but if the Bulls continue to trend this way, who truly knows? Now, I'm not a big fan of this trade. I know there is some Bulls fans that are. Now, I do know that the 27 and 29 draft picks could be very valuable, but at the same time, they could be really bad. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about this potential trade package and trade rumor that these NBA insiders have talked about and said that the Bulls are interested in and would probably accept at this trade deadline. In my eyes, I wouldn't accept this just because, let me just say what a few Bulls insiders did talk about on Twitter about this whole situation. You know, obviously they did say the Bulls should consider it and they would be interested in it. Now, one Bulls insider did say if Zach Levine's value is truly this low, they should just keep him because that's an embarrassing seen offer and as of right now, I don't really know what Zach Levine's trade value has been. His play recently has really been bad. He's really struggled as of late. I know he's been dealing with a hand injury, but I'm just not sure what the Chicago Bulls should do. I feel like they're just kind of stuck right now. In my eyes, I wouldn't trade Zach Levine as of right now, but that can change very fast. I honestly understand all sides of every trade package and story with the Bulls. And also Bulls insider Cody Westerland, he listened to this podcast as well. And he did say, what stuns me when people discuss the Lakers 27 and 29 draft picks is the lack of empathy placed on how far away those draft picks are. And I do understand what he's saying. Those draft picks are really far away. And he did continue and he said the time element makes them much less valuable than how they're framed. And I do agree also. And let's just say the Bulls do this trade. Who even knows if our Taurus is still going to be the executive of the Chicago Bulls in about five to six years from now? Our Taurus would have to feel very completely safe with his job at this moment and have great patience to make this trade. Also, 2027 and 2029 is very far away. And the Lakers could be bad or they could be really good by then and sign some good free agents to be good again really quickly who wouldn't want to play in LA I don't know if I would do this trade right now but I honestly do hope the Bulls do something at the trade deadline I've said this in past videos I don't know what the fix is I don't know what the trade would be but change needs to happen the Bulls cannot just keep waiting for this team to turn it around because I don't think they're gonna this team has been so bipolar beating good teams and then losing to bad teams the next night Lonzo Ball doesn't seem like he's gonna walk through that door anytime soon and honestly I feel bad that the Bulls and Bulls fans are putting that much pressure on a player that hasn't played basketball in a year plus now I just don't know the Chicago Bulls as of right now are in basketball hell definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video talking about the Bulls past two games versus the Pacers and the Hornets now and just the current state of the Chicago Bulls obviously this trade rumor and trade talks surrounding Russell Westbrook and Zach Levine definitely leave some comments below today's video about all those topics and rumors thank you guys for all the love on the channel in the past few videos i really do appreciate it thank you guys for watching today's video have a good one